Hello, this is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. If you want to pass the interior lead paint clearance test, you will have to first pass the visual interior lead paint clearance test. A licensed lead inspector will inspect the entire interior of your home prior to performing any lead dust test. The home needs to be clean and free from peeling, loose, blistering, failing, detaching, or chipping paint. Additionally, the home has to be somewhat clean and free from dust, debris, garbage, and dirt. The inspector will always look into the window troughs and visually inspect for loose paint, dirt, and dust. If the window walls have peeling paint, loose window glazing, dust, and debris, the visual inspection fails. The inspector will also look at carpets, wood floors, and linoleums. If the floors have dirt, visual dust, or paint chips, the visual inspection fails. You have to pay the inspector the show up fee and then he leaves. Many inspectors will let you travel ahead of them, permitting one more final cleaning prior to the dust wipe test. Baby wipes work great for final cleaning. If you clean the windowsill or trough and the baby wipe is still dirty, these areas are dirty and you will fail the laboratory dust test. Wood floors may look clean, but are not. The biggest mistake people make with cleaning floors is they do not change the mop water. If the mop water is dirty, the floor is also dirty and you will fail. Most inspectors like to keep the dust testing simple and standard. All bedrooms need to have one dust sample taken from the window troughs, one dust sample taken from the window sills, and one dust sample taken from the floor. If you have four bedrooms, that would be 12 dust sample tests. Other locations tested may include one floor test in the basement, one floor test at each entrance, one floor test in the hallway, and one blank test for quality control. Additionally, one spike test also for quality control. A four bedroom home with a basement may have 15 to 19 dust samples taken that would all need to be sent to a lead accredited laboratory. If you place new entrance door mats at the base of the stairs and at door entrances, many times the inspector will test these new surfaces. In old homes, basements leak and paint may peel prior to the inspection. You should touch up these areas prior to the inspector's arrival. Inspectors do not care if the paint color matches. Inspectors only care if the paint is peeling. Prior to disturbing paint on all pre-1978 homes, homeowners or contractors should take the one-day EPA class to become certified. You will also need to pay the EPA a fee to be a certified EPA firm. If you are not certified, you will need to find somebody that has a certification. The Public Housing Authority will want a copy of the worker's license or certification. Your lead assessor cannot provide you with this information. Your lead clearance report will also require this information. If you do not provide this information to your lead clearance inspector, he will leave this area blank on the lead clearance report and the public housing authority may or may not accept the clearance report. The lead paint inspector will bring several different size templates for the dust sampling. He will lay down the templates and take dust samples with special ghost wipes. These dust samples will be put into plastic tubes and sent to a laboratory for analysis. We recommend you email your inspector so he has your email address for quicker turnaround of the report. For more information how to pass your lead clearance test, go to www.houseinvestigations.com or go to the Cleveland Marco YouTube channel. Thank you. This is Marco Vogt from Cleveland. You can be reached at 216-924-8378. Marco is also on Facebook under the name Marco Volk. You should subscribe and get his daily posts. Good luck, and I hope you pass your lead clearance test.